What's up, fam? This is Vic from Quick Cuts Premium Lawn Care here in Conyers, Georgia. I had a subscriber ask me a question. He wanted me to give an update on the Bradley Moores um, for the 2019 cut season. Well, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Um, my 52 inch mower stand on Bradley Moore is done. That means it's not operable and that means I don't use it no more. That means I rode it into the ground. Yes, I had it for two years, the warranty was up. Um, and a lot of you are gonna say, Vic, so what does that mean? Would you buy another Bradley Moore? Would you use it again? And my answer to that is yes, cause I wind up buying a 36 inch Bradley Moore. Now, let me use some wisdom. Here's my wisdom for you guys. Number one, what is in your budget? Number two, how many yards are you cutting? Number three, are you um, comfortable knowing that if something was to go wrong with your piece of equipment, you're handy enough to get the parts, put it on yourself, or you're willing for someone in your local community, dealership, or willing to work on a mower that they're not selling? Now, my answer to that was yes, my dealer at John Deere was willing to work on my mower. Now, here's my thing. Uh, I realized something again. Um, when my mower went down, it, it was down. I had to go without my mower. And the turnaround time for them getting the parts was pretty quick, but still, I had that downtime. So, at the time, I knew I only could afford the Bradley mower. That means the Bradley mower was selling at $4,300 for a 52 inch stand on. And that's all I had. And if that's the thing, that's what I would get again. However, I was able to use a lot of my funds this year and I went ahead and bought another John Deere. I'm gonna share that in this video. Now, the reason why I bought the John Deere is because I wanted a little bit more longevity when it comes to services and it not being down. Once again, it's up to you guys. Now, I just said that I would buy another one and I did. I bought a 36 inch this year. I bought a 46 inch this year. I bought two of them. Now, the only thing, the only drawbacks with that um, Bradley Moore is you do not have a, a hour meter on there. I know you can go put some on there, but the whole point is no hour meters on it at all. So when I was cutting, I didn't know sometimes, and I didn't do the right thing by recording the information um, in yard book or even in a book. So I didn't do that. Now, if you wise and you can record your time down, how many yards you cut, all you gotta do is how many yards you cut, how long, um, that's if you got a catalog. Now I do, I have a catalog on how much time I think each yard is gonna take me. So that means I can tell um, how many hours I put on a machine in a week. Now, all I gotta do is go back and calculate that up, but I'm not gonna do it for this video. I can tell you if I had to guesstimate how many hours I put on that um, Bradley, man, I use that Bradley like a workhorse. I'll probably put somewhere around, I'll say 1800 hours in the two years because I was cutting every day. I was cutting about 10 properties every day, sometimes. Um, so two years every day for at least, for at least five days. So that's 50 yards. That's in, that's 50 yards in a week. That's 100 yards. Uh, no, that's 50 yards in a week. Let me do the math. That's 200 yards in a month. So that's a lot. I mean, I'm telling you, that's a lot of yards. And I was doing it, you know, I was putting in that work on that Bradley Moore. Now, with that being said, I just got me a stand on um, John Deere because I'm trying to give you some understanding of how many hours I got. Now, you remember my John Deere stand on, right? I got it just last year and I didn't use it like I used the Bradley Moore. It was kind of like my backup mower. Somehow, some way, everybody loved the Bradley Moore. They wanted to use the Bradley Moore. They didn't like the John Deere because it would slide um, down the hill. It, the traction wasn't that good. The Bradley Moore would stick to the doggone hill. And another thing is that if the yard was wet, it wouldn't spin tires. It would cut even in wet yard and you wouldn't get stuck. 
my John Deere would get stuck on the stand on. The base wasn't wide enough. So I'm sharing you the pros and cons with this. You gotta understand. Now that John Deere stand on was seven, um, man, it was $8,000. That's two, that's two Bradley Moores. So if you think about it, I still have, like I said, my John Deere. In one year, I probably put 500 and I probably gonna wind up putting um, six, I would say 650 hours on it in one year. 650 hours in one year, in one year. 650, and it's my backup mower. You see what I'm saying? It's my backup mower. And I did have to take that thing in and it was under warranty. It's a, uh, it's a two year warranty for stand-ons, ladies and gentlemen. Fam, it's a two year warranty on your stand-on. It's a three year warranty on the sit down which is zero turns. So still, I can wind up next year, something go wrong with that dog on stand on. It may not be under warranty. And that means I played twice as much as I did with the Bradley. So you have to understand that how much wear and tear on your on lawnmower, how many yards you're doing. So for me to tell you um, that the Bradley is no good because I'm still not using it, you got to weigh your option. Do you want to? Do you want to, not do you want to, do you have enough money to go out and spend $8,000 for a stand on? And I just purchased this um, zero turn that you're gonna see. I spent literally $11,000 on a zero turn. Yep. And I can tell you, I had a problem with it already. I took it to the shop um, just the other day because um, when the guys ran out of gas on it, some reason, it wouldn't cipher the gas back into the engine once it ran out of gas. Had to take it in, it was a quick fix. It was under warranty, no problem. But what I'm trying to say to you, you gonna buy a lawnmower and you can spend 20 grand like you spending money on a car and it's a good chance you still may wind up with a problem with it. Under warranty, by the way. So look at it from this perspective. Your warranty is different too. Um, and if it's local, maybe. Maybe simply because it's local, you can get in and get out. So if I had to recommend what I would do, and this is what I'm doing. So I'm recommending what I do. I have purchased um, the Bradley mowers for my backyards. What I mean by that, I have some backyards I can't get my big mowers in. So I got the 36 inch mower from Bradley. It can get in and my crew know, you only cut this yard, this backyard with the Bradley don't cut the Bradley. I don't, I don't want to see you cut nothing else other than our, my gated yards. And we have a few on uh, certain um, days. When we don't have um, any gates, I put my 52 inch um, stand on mower on it. That's the backup if they want to um, use both mowers. Because I am using that Bradley and I'm saving money. The 36 inch only cost me $3,100. That's all it cost me. Dude, that is a deal. That is a deal. You can't, you can't beat that. So I bought it, and it's my backup, backyard only mower. Nothing else. Um, would I buy another 52 inch? Probably no. And the reason why I love the John Deere um, zero turns, and the reason why I love the John Deere zero turns, when you're sitting down, I love to sit down, and I think my gosh. Um, rest a little bit. I got him a nice seat on that bad boy. He's gonna be resting while he's um, rolling. So I don't think I'm gonna get another uh, 52 inch Bradley. Will I get a 48 inch another one? Yes, I am gonna get another backyard mower if I if I get another trailer. That's gonna be my go-to mower. I also have a Bradley walk behind. The Bradley walk behind, we use it the same way we use the stand on. We just got backyards only. And that thing has been working, it's been working. It's been working beautifully. That's why I came up with this idea. So hopefully you will listen to this and understand that your strategy should be based upon what's in your wallet. And it also be based upon how many yards that you're servicing, whether or not you're gonna go out and spend that type of money on a, uh, a brand new out of the box mower and it still can cause you some form of problems under warranty. Now, with that all being said, please, if you got anything to add to this discussion,
please leave it in the comment section. I would love to hear what, you're, what you have to say, especially if you know that all these brands don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. It's all about warranty and it's all about your dealer and the deals you can get with your dealer. Because I think all the mowers are about the same. You're going to say, will it stripe? Man, it cut grass. If you're dealing with stripes and stuff like that, you got a customer who really wants that done, man, you better make sure all of them want it done. Because it doesn't make sense that you're trying to get what stripes the best. Now, what I really realized that it's really about the grass. Most grass lay down. Now, Bermuda grass, man, we ain't nobody worrying about no striping. Ain't no, ain't, I ain't have never had a client tell me, hey, can you put the stripes in the yard? So it's about where you live too, about your location. So please subscribe, please leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts when it comes to um, the mowers that you um, like and tell me whether or not, it's, am, I, am I lying or telling the truth? Give me a thumbs up if you know I'm telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? If I added something to this conversation. All right, man. Cut on, lawn care family, cut on. I'm cutting out. Peace.